Welcome to WMUL-FM Training. I'm Mike Stanley. This is the seventh video in our series on Rivendell Radio Automation. In this video, we will cover how to edit the log and the sound panel by adding, deleting, copying, and moving songs. First, we will cover how to add a song. There are two ways to add a song. Using the Add button or dragging and dropping from RD Library. First, we will cover how to add a song using the Add button. Click the Add button. It will begin blinking purple, and the Select Cart dialog box will appear. This is a miniature version of RD Library. We will cover everything about searching with RD Library in Video 10, RD Library, Searching. Select a group, Alternative. Optionally select a scheduler code. And type some text to search. You can preview the song using the play and stop buttons. Highlight the desired song, Dead Souls, and click OK. Now all the start buttons in the button log are yellow and say where? Question mark. The full log has its own where button. If I click any of the where buttons in the button log, that song will be pushed down in the log and the new song will be inserted in its place. If I click here, not like me will be pushed down and dead souls will be inserted in that place. We will rewind things so that I can demonstrate how to add a song to the full log. Once again, I click the add button, select a song, and click OK. Over in the full log, I select the song that I want to push down. Notice that the song, not like me, is highlighted in yellow. Then I click the where button under the log. Once again, Not Like Me has been pushed down and Dead Souls has been inserted in that place. Now I will demonstrate how to add a song to the sound panel. Once again, I click the Add button, select a song, and click OK. Now all of the sound panel buttons are yellow. Click the one that you want to add the song to. If there is already a song on that button, that song will be replaced by the new song. You can cancel an ad by clicking the Add button again. Next we will cover how to add a song using RD Library. Use the search function in RD Library to find the song you want. Make certain that Allow Cart Dragging is checked. Now drag and drop the song onto the button log. You have to drop the song onto the label not onto the start button. As you can see, if I drop the song onto the start button, nothing happens. Also be careful that the mouse picks up the correct song. Sometimes it slips and grabs an adjacent song. As you can see, when I grabbed the song Dead Souls and dropped it on top of Not Like Me, the Not Like Me was pushed down and Dead Souls inserted in its place. The procedure for adding a song to the full log is very similar. Just drop the song on top of the song that you wish to push down. As you can see, once again, Not Like Me was pushed down and Dead Souls inserted in its place. You can also drag and drop onto the sound panel. One difference when dragging and dropping onto the sound panel is the color of the button. When using the Add button, the Sound Panel button will be the default light gray. When dragging and dropping from RD Library, the color code of the group is used. There is one more way to add songs to the Sound Panel. Click the Setup button, and then click the button you wish to edit. The Edit Button dialog box will appear. Click Set Cart to bring up the same Cart Select box. Select your song here, and click OK. You can then use this dialog box to set the color and label of the button. If you leave the label blank, it will be set to the title of the song. You can also use the setup function to edit the label or color of a button that already has a cart assigned. 
Now we will cover how to delete songs from the log. Click the Del or Delete button. It will begin blinking purple. You will notice that all of the start buttons have turned purple and now say Delete? Question mark. There is a similar delete button under the full log. To delete one of those songs in the button log, click that delete button. To delete one of the songs in the full log, select that song. It will highlight in purple. Then click the delete button under the full log. To delete a button from the sound panel, click that button. You will notice that the button remains purple. That's just a glitch, it will turn back gray eventually. One difference between Rivendell and our previous wide orbit system is that the delete only deletes a single song at a time. Wide orbit had a delete mode where you could just keep clicking songs to delete a bunch of them. In Rivendell, after you delete a song, you have to click the Dell button again if you want to delete another song. To cancel the delete, click the Dell button again. You can also delete a log entry by dragging the trash can icon onto the cart that you wish to delete. Next we will cover how to move songs around using the move button. Click the move button. It will begin blinking purple. All of the start buttons will now turn purple and say move question mark. There is also a move button under the full log. To select a song from the button log, click that move button. To select a song from the full log, select it and click the move button under the full log. We will select Bedroom Eyes. Now the move button is blinking yellow and all the buttons that were saying move now say to question mark and are also yellow. To move the song to a place in the button log, click that to button. To move the song to a place in the full log, highlight a song and click the to button under the full log. That song will be pushed down and the other song will be inserted in its place. As you can see, Pull Me In was pushed down and Bedroom Eyes is now in its place. Bedroom Eyes is no longer where it was. There are two limitations to the move command. The first limitation is that you cannot move a song that has already played. You can copy it and we'll cover that in just a minute. You also cannot move something into the past. The second limitation is that you cannot move a button on the sound panel and you cannot move a cart from the sound panel or to the sound panel. If you want to cancel a move, click the move button again. Finally, we will cover copying a song. The procedure is very similar to moving a song. Click the copy button. It will begin blinking purple. The start buttons will turn purple and say copy? Question mark. There is also a copy button under the full log. To select a song from the button log, click that copy button. To select a song from the full log, select it and click the copy button under the full log. We will select Mind Your Manners. Now the buttons that were saying copy now say to? Question mark, and are also yellow. To copy the song to a place in the button log, click that to button. To copy the song to a place in the full log, highlight a song and click the to button under the full log. That song will be pushed down and the other song will be inserted in its place. As you can see, Postal Lady was pushed down and Mind Your Manners is now in its place. Mind Your Manners is also still where it was before. An important thing to note is that when you copy the song, the copy has a play transition even though the source had a segue transition. You will have to open the Edit Event dialog box and change it manually. You can also copy a song on the button log by dragging and dropping the cart label. In that case, the copy of the song will have the same transition as the original. There is one restriction on the copy command. Voice tracks cannot be copied. Unlike the move command, the sound panel can be either the source or destination of a copy. You can also make copies on the sound panel by dragging and dropping. Also unlike the move command, you can make a copy of a song that has already aired. 
Also remember the sound recording performance complement rule. The station may not play within a three hour span more than three selections by the same artist and not more than two in a row. That concludes our video on how to edit the log. We covered adding, deleting, copying, and moving songs on the button log, the full log, and the sound panel. Our next video will cover timed events. Thanks for watching.